Tracking Tropical Cyclone Tiffany here on Force 13 Australia as it barrels towards the Queensland coastline. You can see it is only about a few hours or an hour maybe from landfall, probably just to the south of Kuwen on Queensland. It has made that dive a little bit further south than what we were expecting. Um, but still spinning up very nicely. It's currently a Category 2 strength system just offshore from Queensland with that eye very uh, coming very close to the coast at this time. Heavy rainfall is anticipated over the Queensland Cape York Peninsula over the coming up few hours and also days um, that will extend into uh, east, uh, western Queensland and then into the eastern northern territory and the central northern territory with some models hinting that the storm could go all the way to western Australia. A significant storm threat take this one very seriously and make sure you're on top of the Bureau of Meteorology homepage for the latest updates. Here is that Bureau of Meteorology current cyclone map. You can see tropical cyclone Tiffany just to the north of Cairns there as a category 2 strength system between that 10 and 15 degrees south mark. Here's their forecast track. You can see it's a category 2 strength storm at 7.44am Australian Eastern Standard Time on Monday the 10th of January 2022. We have that cyclone warning extending from Mapoon to Cape Gronville and then down to the Gilbert River mouth and over to Cape Tribulation. That includes Cookdown, Palmerville, Kuenema, Arakun, Kuen, Lockhart River and Weepar. The current headline is Tropical Cyclone Tiffany is approaching the coast near Cape Melville. There's a warning from the Gilbert River mouth to Mapoon and then Cape uh, Gronville to Cape Tribulation, uh, including all locations between there. It's Category 2 strength storm sustained winds near the centre of 95 kilometres an hour with gusts to 130 kilometres an hour at 14 degrees south, 140 44.4 degrees east, 25 kilometres northwest of Cape Melville. Um, hazards gales with gusts to 110 kilometres an hour will develop between Cape Tribulation and Kuen, including Corktown, this morning as Tiffany, uh, Tiffany approaches the coast. Destructive winds to 130 kilometres an hour are expected later today as the centre of the cyclone makes landfall. Heavy rainfall occurring uh, in the warning areas expected to persist through Monday and into Tuesday with totals up to 150 millimetres expected with isolated totals to 250 millimetres expected. The recommended action is for people between Cape Tribulation and Kuen, including Cooktown, and they should com uh, they should complete their cyclone preparations quickly. Be prepared to shelter in a safe place. People between Cape Gronville and Kuen, including Lockhart River and Mapoon to the Gilbert River mouth, should also take precautions and listen for the next advice at 11 a.m. Eastern uh, 11 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Sorry for the muddle there. Here's a look at the METI uh, Bureau of Meteorology forecast cone. You can see it's a Category 2 strength storm just offshore from landfall. You can see the radar imagery um, overlapped on that. Uh, it's expected to make landfall as a Category 3 strength storm on Groot Island. Here's a look at what the um, windy, uh, not the windy model, the uh, winds on METI are looking like. You can see we are expecting a strong storm of at least 50 knots to develop. Um, in the Gulf of Carpentaria, likely up towards Category 3 status as it moves towards um, Northern Territory and weakening quite fast as it moves inland over the Northern Territory and then doing a sort of a stalling pattern there and looping back by around Friday or Saturday or, um, around that sort of time there. Landfall will be late on Wednesday afternoon into the evening um, and we're still moving in on Thursday into the Northern Territory. Here's look what the Eastern BBF has to say. Those gales indicated in those green winds. Um, you can see as the storm in enters the Gulf of Carpentaria, it starts to intensify quite fast. And we will be seeing a, uh, in a significantly stronger storm making landfall in Groot Island with those uh, orange uh, force winds. That is around 100 knots starting to pop up there. That is a Category 4 strength storm on the Australian scale. Certainly this could be one uh, that could deliver quite a few problems to the Northern Territory and also Queensland as it approaches those land areas. The Gulf of Carpentary is ready for cyclone action and at a moment's notice can throw at us a pretty decent cyclone. Here's a look what the GFS has to say on their latest model guidance. You can see the storm um, expected to be quite significantly weaker than what the ECM WF is um, saying. You can see a tropical storm landfall still expected. That is a cyclone and it will intensify a little bit in the Gulf of Carpentaria, although not significantly at this stage. Um, then moving across Arnhem Land, uh, probably slowing down quite significantly as well, delivering a lot of rainfall north of between Catherine and Darwin. And then into uh, Western Australia, just north of Kununurri, and we will be seeing an intensifying storm system in that area. Uh, due to the brown ocean effect, and we might be seeing the storm get back up towards Category 2 status in that, that region, from what the GFS is saying. 
Here is a look at the Kuen forecast. Today we are expecting a cyclone in Kuen with a high chance of showers tending to rain at times. We've got a chance of a thunderstorm as well, possibly severe, although that seems to be the least of their concerns right now because destructive wind gusts exceeding 130 kilometers an hour are possible depending on the movement and development of tropical cyclone Tiffany. Here's a look at the IR satellite imagery. Definitely uh, looking fairly impressive on this front, firing up some very decent convection as it moves towards the Queensland coastline and has had that appearance of a shallow eye-like feature uh, quite recently, which is definitely aiding in the storm's intensification. You can see on the visible satellite imagery, not looking too bad there either. Very decent look there as the sun rises over the storm. Uh, moving inland towards Queensland now, we will be seeing a degrada uh, degradation of the structure in the storm. But nonetheless, it is still looking fairly good, that's for sure, and firing some very nice thunderstorms between Weeper and uh, Cape Gronville, that sort of area. Good outflow on the storm as well, certainly is in, um, enhancing the storm's intensification. One thing that won't be slowing the storm down at all will be that mid-level humidity, which you can see right now, those black, dark grey areas. Uh, indicate very good mid-level humidity which is very good for cyclones and you can see the storm making the absolute most of the very favourable conditions that it is in. That is anyway the latest that Force 13 Australia has on Tropical Cyclone Tiffany. You can start to date with our outlets, all links will be in the description and check out the Twitter as well for frequent storm updates there. That is all for me, I'll catch you all in the next storm. Goodbye.